What's up guys, Quasi here, bringing you guys my 6k underrated contest results. And uh, before I get into this, I just want to say, um, do not leave hate on this because um, it's my opinion on who won, not yours. So like, if you think your entry should have placed or got an honorable mention or something, um, well, no one cares, so just keep it to yourself. And... Yeah, that's all I can say. Um, if you really think you should have placed and you don't know why you didn't, feel free to message me. But I feel comfortable with who I picked out. And yeah, so let's get into it. So in the one star honorable mentions, um, we have this background by Kosh Arts. I don't know how he pronounces it. Uh, but he's got a really creative idea here um, using my like crumble effect thing he has like a hammer like hitting the logo and it's like breaking is really cool uh, and then it has like the nails along uh, just kind of floating out there just to add some effect to go with like the hammer and stuff and it's really cool it's a really creative idea um, I really like it um, the execution wasn't perfect but it was all right um, and yeah, uh, I like the coloring. It's just like a gray uh, background, um, and it's it's pretty cool. Um, uh, it might be a little too white in some parts, like on the hammer and the nails. But other than that, it's overall good background. So congratulations. Um, moving on, um, I'm requesting uh, model this this house thing, and it looks a lot like the house on like Nuketown, but I don't know it's whatever um but basically this house like is really cool idea like the modeling was actually pretty good the only thing that was bad was the the materials were just really bad um so he he's need, he needs to work on that um and then as well as the lighting um wasn't too great um and then like the photoshop part and stuff just i don't know if i think he did photoshop but uh, it just doesn't look that great. Uh, the overall, the only real uh, good part of it was the actual model itself. Um, nothing else was really too good. He just needs to work on that stuff, and then he'll be a pretty top dog. But, yeah. Um, moving on, we got Resicle. And he has this, this really nice background. Uh, the only thing I wish would be better is like it to be just like a brighter or more like saturated colors on the uh, the text like behind it. Uh, and stuff, uh, but I really like the idea with like the chains just kind of in the background. Like, that's a creative way to use chains rather than the usual chain on text kind of thing. They're just really overused and annoying. Um, but yeah, the text looks really cool. Um, like, it's sort of displaced and stuff. And it's got the coloring behind it. Um, but yeah, it just looks cool. Um, it's kind of just like a mix of a couple styles, just like little things and styles that just create its own, and it just looks really nice. Um, so congratulations, Resicle. Um, <clears throat> in the the fourth one star on mention, we got uh, Silent Spud World, and uh, he did this web design, which is, looks really clean, really nice. Um, I'm not one for like to know like how to rate uh, web designs, but just like this, I just thought would be something cool that I would actually want on my website if I had one. So yeah, and it has really cool. It has like the Twitter stuff to the side and whatnot. It's just that's a really cool idea. Yeah, congratulations, Spud. Um, moving on. Uh, Art of Aztec or just Aztec uh, made this cool um, like bomb looking. I forget what the style is called, but like it has like these bombs floating around. Looks really cool. He used my old logo, but I mean it's whatever. Um, he actually did a couple entries. Uh, this was my favorite out of um, all the ones he did. I think it was his first too. I, I don't remember. But I like how the blue is kind of like splattered. It's not just like a complete blue atomarite. It's just like kind of in parts. And that, I don't know. That's just really cool. And it's just got that grungy look. And it's not really a rocky material or a lava material which is really overused right now. But it's just like a normal gray grunge and it just, it's a really good grunge background. I really like it. So congratulations, Aztec. Uh, moving on to the um, two-star honorable mentions. 
uh, we got Mizzy Art, Miz Art, Mizzy, um, and he did this web design, and this was just really clean, really nice. Um, I really liked it. Uh, I like the colors, like kind of salmon, pink, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, it just looked really cool. And I like how he put it on the iPad and iPhone. I know other people do that, but I don't know. I just really liked it on the iPhone for some reason. Probably because I'm, I'm gay, but you know. Um, yeah, so congratulations, Ms. Ms. Whatever you say your name, I don't know. Um, and moving on, uh, Amy Arts Design. Um, I'm assuming this is a girl if it's her name's Amy, but um, she did this cool um, illustration background. Um, the only thing that really made this uh, a two star and not higher is basically um, like the drawing was really good, but when she went over it with like in like in Photoshop and stuff, like the chest that just bugged me because she had a lot of detail on it with like the coins and stuff, which looked really cool. And as well as the anchor chain, but just like it kind of turned out uh, not as good in the final image with the coloring and outline and all that stuff. Uh, but overall, it's a really cool idea. It looks nice, and yeah, congratulations. And she spelled my name wrong, which is kind of that's kind of a negative. But yeah, uh, moving on, we got X Zero DZN. Uh, I always say design for that because that's what pit put, like is put in my head. But everyone's like, no, it's DZN. It's like that's what they mean or whatever. But uh, he did this really cool lion, um, and it just really, he just it's kind of like a random piece. I don't even know if what it is. It's like a desktop desktop background or what. And then it just kind of says mighty. I don't know what that was. Like I don't know. Maybe it has some meaning that I didn't look into. But uh, yeah, so this is just really cool. The lion is really sick. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he drew that. Uh, either way, he he did like all that stuff in Photoshop, and just looks really cool. Uh, it would have been higher if he just like kind of went full out and filled up all the space with just random stuff. I think that would have been really sick. But yeah, overall, it's a really nice piece, and congratulations. Uh, next, we have Avix Creations and Garde. Uh, they did a dual manipulation. Uh, I don't remember which one did the Cinema 4D part with. The render, I th and uh, I forget how they did it actually, but I know there was like a logo involved, and I think whoever did the logo kind of started the manipulation, and then the other person finished it. But um, this this piece looks really good. Um, it's really nice. The only thing that I didn't like is that it was basically just one picture, and them just adding stuff. It wasn't like multiple pictures kind of coming in, um, like a full out just creating your own scene. But I mean, it still turned out really nice. I really like it. Um, and yeah, congratulations. The lighting is actually r really awesome. I love it. But yeah. Um, moving on, we have Ace Shame, who did this something that was just really unique that I've never seen before. And this is this uh, music player thing, or the Quezzy player. Um, and I don't know, it's just like an interface thing that was just really awesome. And it just turned out really cool looking. And I really liked it. It was really unique. And it was pretty awesome. Um, so yeah. Congratulations, shame. Um, and finally, in the two star honorable mentions, we have Dimitri. Uh, his channel is Maynor, M Maynor with three eyes. Um, but yeah, he he. If you guys don't know him, he's the one that made all like the cool backgrounds that were like half silver, half blue, like that had those like everyone had one and like they were sick. And I always got people asking me who made mine, and this is the guy. And he switched up his uh, 2D style now, and I think it still looks really sick. Um, it's really awesome. I love the backing with like the blue, and then just the text looks really clean. Um, it's just really awesome. Um, so yeah, congratulations, is Dimitri. Moving on to the three-star honorable mentions, we have Marky. And if you guys remember Marky, um, in my last video, Quezzy Quacks, I did a duel with him because I play, he placed third in my last contest in the underrated section, and he's really good. The style is so creative. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know I don't know what he calls it, but like it's just really colorful. It looks really awesome. And yeah, congratulations, Marky. Um, next, we have Raycomo. Feeble, or I don't even know. I whenever I see like uh, I've had him in like this folder thing that I keep like all the good entries, and like whenever I see his name, I just think it's Russian. I don't know if he is Russian, but I don't know. Just assume he is. But I have no idea how what that name means or how it's said or anything. 
but uh, his background is absolutely sick. I've never seen anything like this, like the filters and stuff that he uses uh, to create this. It was just remarkable. It was probably the most creative thing I've ever seen um, when it comes to like like a logo making thing for a background. Um, but this is just really sick. It's really awesome, and yeah, um, you guys have to see this one up close because it's probably on the screen. It's kind of small. Uh, when you see it up close, you'll know why it's awesome. But yeah, so yeah, congratulations. Uh, moving on, uh, we have Cosmonaut in, with this uh, cool like it's like this techie background, but it's in like a nature environment, which is really awesome. Um, I really like the nature environment. Like it's like just really futuristic looking with like nature. It kind of has like those buildings in the background. It looks like, and just like the text and the stocks that are on there are just awesome. And yeah, the blue flares just look fantastic. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like a, a loose style, um, but like with like a nature thing to it, and it just looks really cool. And I love it. So congratulations, Cosmonaut. Next we have Candy Concepts who did this Ark of the Covenant thing or like the Quezzy Covenant or whatever he called it, I forget. But he basically modeled everything in this and it w this was really sick. Um, this took a lot of time for him to do. And like the windows with like the, the uh, painting stuff on it looks just looks really awesome. Um, the room looks really clean. Um, the only thing that I wish uh, he did more was like detail the room a little more because it kind of looks a little too empty. Um, and maybe the lighting's a little weird. Like it looks too bright. I feel like it should be kind of darker and then like brighter around the where my logo is there. But like everything is just really sick piece. Looks really good. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Congratulations, Candy. Um, next we have Spooky OG who did this really creative graffiti thing, um, and it's basically just like something that you would see on like in the streets in Philly, like, well, I live close to Philly, so that's why I say Philly, but, like, uh, it just looks like a legitimate graffiti thing that you would see on, like, out in public and stuff. Um, the only thing that was questionable was, like, I didn't know what that pink thing was in the middle. I think it was, a like, a brain or something, but I don't know. Maybe it was just, like, random. But uh, that was the only thing that I had questions about. But, like, when he was doing this, and it was just, like, on the 2D thing, I was like, wow, this is all right. But once he put it on the wall, like, and like had it there it just looked really like cool and just I really liked it so I don't know but yeah and he has like cracks going in and everything it just looks really nice um, so yeah congratulations spooky and then um, in uh, the last honorable mention three star section we have Dr uh, Drave motions and um, like this uh, he had I don't know like it was kind of just something that was really unique it was just Basically, he made me an intro, but it was like three intros kind of in one. Like, they just kind of transitioned. I think it was three. I don't remember. Um, it just kind of transitioned through into, like, different things. And it was just really creative. I've never seen something like that before. And, like, they were really detailed and looked really nice. Um, so, yeah, that was... He, he got up here because of the creativity. The execution was pretty good. Could have been better, but yeah, it just was still really nice, so congratulations. And uh, to the winners now, the four stars, um, in fifth place we have Berserk DZN design, or whatever you want to say, and he made these four 2D backgrounds, and they were absolutely really, like, really sick. I, the two middle ones were my favorite. The, like, comic book one, like, the Mastermind versus the Hawk, was just really cool. I really liked that idea. And then the cloud one just looks really clean, and I really like it. Uh, the bottom one looks pretty nice, and the top one looks pretty nice. And I don't know, it was basically that comic book one that got them here. But yeah, like just really creative ideas, really nice 2D. Congratulations, Berserk. Uh, fourth place we have Purified Concepts. Um, I forget what team is he, he's like. I believe he's a Thrust member and. Um, I got some questions about whether they'd be classified as rated or underrated, but I think they should be classified as, or at least Purify should be classified as underrated because he only has about 150 subscribers, which I don't, you can't really call that uh, not underrated. So, I mean, I put him in here. Um, his entry was absolutely sick. I really liked it. It was insane. 
but the only thing that kept it from the top three was that um, those like stringy things that are hanging off the back kind of are all just one color and you can't really see the shading too well um, which kind of bothered me because if if you would have been able to see it if it would more detailed on that part I don't know if that's what he went for but it's just something that bothered me I don't I don't know but like yeah it was just really the sword looks sick uh, the face and hair look amazing um, the leg the pants and stuff look really good and it just looks like something that comes straight out of a cartoon um, but yeah it was really sick so congratulations purify um, moving on to the top three in third place we have artistic Ali um, and he made this illustration of me um, I, I assume it's me it doesn't look like me at all but that's because no one knows what I look like <laughs> but um, like it just looks really cool it looks like I don't know it just looks really awesome and it's just like really clean there's nothing really wrong with it, it just looks really awesome um, if, like oh man I don't know it just looks really I don't know even what to say it looks so nice and I just like it a lot and I really 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 want it so hopefully he'll send me that then but um yeah so congratulations Ollie uh, moving on to second place we have res creations and this was uh, probably the sickest intro that I've seen ever made for me um, that one and the one I use now Zan made me but this one is just really sick it's like my emblem thing that I have that um, like is up on like the thumbnail of my videos that thing um, it basically looks just like that and like the whole way he puts like he has the screws going in into the, the backing and then he has like the letters like popping out and then he has the quasi letters like coming in and just like the camera angles are amazing the, like the textures look so good I, don't, I just love this intro and it's really awesome I, um, I'm thinking about using it not sure yet um, but yeah it was really nice and congratulations Rev and in first place like once I saw this entry uh, I knew hands down it was gonna win and that's the entry from the WB design and he had a few other entries that were actually gonna place or get an honorable mention but um, after he put this one out I was just like alright this one definitely is winning because it's just the most creative thing I've ever seen in my life um, alright not in my life but like in this contest it was so creative um, probably the sickest background ever made for me to be honest um, like it's just like this 2D thing and he just has different effects on each letter and just the backing just looks so good and I, I don't know like he made a t-shirt and everything which I'm gonna buy sooner or later but like if you guys just look at this it just looks really really cool like I don't know it's just really awesome and I knew f the second I saw it that it was gonna win I think he he got an honorable mention in my last contest and I don't know he's just he's the man uh, that WB he does so many entries for my contest and he's he's really good very underrated definitely earned the underrated spotlight video that will be coming out shortly for him and uh, yeah so those are the results guys I uh, hope you enjoyed hope the hate is a minimum um, I usually don't get hate for my contest but I noticed the underrated always seem to think that they should have won which is really annoying and they always think that rated people don't deserve winning in other contests and stuff like that but uh, I mean everyone was like that at one point but yeah so thank you guys for watching please leave a like and yeah um, see you guys later peace